Generation Motorsports. We kind of talked about this in the last video about the intake for the Corvette. And as you guys can see next to me, I have the vibrant four and a half inch intake. I also have the billet aluminum bracket for the MAF sensor. And we're heading up to mass acceleration for them to TIG weld that bracket onto that pipe. And as you guys saw, I did a little bit of an outline on where we're gonna get that MAF sensor mounted. And uh, they're gonna charge me somewhere like between 75 and 100 bucks. I mean, like, it's like an hour, hour and a half of work. I did trim it down a little bit, like I sanded off the rough edges, so it should fit. And uh, I mean, at least a lot better than it did stock. I did have to basically level it out so that the roundness of the four and a half inch pipe is probably less steep. Well, it's a more of a gradual curve than a, say, a three inch or four inch pipe. So it isn't a perfect fit, so they may have to grind it down a little bit more, but it should be close enough to where they can just TIG weld uh, a bead around it and call it done. So let's head up to mass acceleration and uh, drop this project off. All right, guys, we're here approaching mass acceleration motorsports. And uh, they've always got some cool cars. There's the Camaro, CTSV, Q. Oh, okay. And uh, let's get this intake dropped off. All right, guys, I just dropped off the intake at Mass Acceleration Motorsports, and they should have that done over the weekend, so maybe I'll be able to pick it up early next week. Not on a super deadline on this thing. I'm just, I don't want to be waiting on an intake for like three weeks when it's a simple weld. So they said their fabricator will be in on the weekend. Hey, guys, it's Monday, and uh, we're headed up to Mass Acceleration Motorsports again. We're going to go pick up our finished intake. I dropped it off on Thursday of last week, so they've only had it for like two days, and they had their fabricator in over the weekend. He TIG welded up the MAF sensor onto that intake pipe, and it should be done. So let's go ahead up there and uh, get our finished intake. All right, guys, we're back home from the shop, and we have the intake pipe with us, and I just wanted to give you guys a brief overlook of what we're doing with this pipe. As you guys can see, I did have the LS7 MAF sensor welded in, and I have already transferred the MAF sensor from my Edelbrock intake into my custom four and a half inch pipe. The only other thing we're gonna have to do is actually transfer the PCV hose right here. We're gonna have to take that grommet and that little billet piece out, drill a hole somewhere in here, and uh, go from there. I think we'll probably do it right here in this back section uh, before the clamp. I think, well, so it's after the math in the Edelbrock intake. So I guess we would try to do the same thing, try to get the PCV after the math before the coupler. This may look close, but I measured it out. It is six inches from the throttle body. So I did take that into consideration when I had this fabricated. I didn't know which way we were gonna go with this, so I did measure it out six inches. I've seen everywhere from six to 12 inches. I didn't, there was no like golden rule in regards to MAF sensor placement. So I just kind of did my best guess and uh, think uh, well, this will work just fine. So here's the finished intake. This will be on the Driver's side, we'll have the intake filter over on this end. One thing to consider, this will be at an angle for going over the radiator, so that is something to consider when you're laying out your mass airflow sensor, that setup. So we should be good to go. This may change color in the future. I'm not guaranteeing that it'll remain shiny polished aluminum. It probably won't be, but that may be a, a future video. We will see. I want to get this car finished and tuned before we take anything apart to go get stuff powder coated. That's kind of kind of my plan. So that might be a spring mod, you know, whenever we get to that. So that'll be an update to look for in the future and uh, we'll go from there. So when we get the car back together, we'll put this intake on and show you what this looks like when it's plugged in. All right guys, I kind of wanted to close out this intake update video just by showing you kind of a finished shot. Now we're not fully done yet. We still got like hoses to run hose clamps to put in, and fuel system. 
cooling system, a bunch of other stuff to put in, but I did want to show you what this was going to end up looking like. So as you guys can see, we have the intake in, we've got the throttle body, the Camaro lid, the induction system's all done. I just need to put the hose clamps in, but I wanted to show you the LS7 MAF that we had welded up at uh, mass acceleration. We put the sensor in, as you guys can see, and our extension harness going into our Edelbrock harness. So that's pretty much the finished shot. And uh, like I was saying, we'll probably update this again in the future, but right now I just want to get the car dynoed and see what this induction system is going to make. The only problem we're running into actually right now is this upper hose that goes to the expansion tank. I need, what I need to do, I need to actually put it like underneath where it's running. Cause right now it's kind of rubbing on the silicone coupler and you know, it's, it's almost being pinched. So what I need to do is actually shove it down in this cavity and uh, go from there. So that's pretty much wrapping up this uh, supercharger project. And you know, we've got a few more things to do, belts, exhaust, fuel system, cooling system for the intercooler and all that stuff. But we'll get to that. And uh, we're almost done. So hopefully we get a first fire up pretty soon. You know, that may not be the next video, but the next couple of videos that should be up in there. So that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Also, if you wanna know when I upload new content, hit that bell notification button down below. And as always, if you wanna help support the channel, click the links down below as well. Thanks guys, have a great one. Yeah.